Hey guys, it's Tyler and I wanted to show you how to make really cool buttons on your WordPress website. So let me show you how to do it. The first thing that you do is you go into your website dashboard. And after you do that, you go to plugins and you click add new. And we're downloading a plugin called Max Buttons. Max B-U-T-T-O-N-S. Search for that by pressing enter and you see the Max Buttons uh, plugin. Press install now and activate. Once we do that, we can go back. Uh, no, never mind. Let's go to the Max Buttons plugin down here <clears throat> and we can add new. So we add new. And it starts us off with this button right here. And we can give it a name. Let's call it new button. And give it a URL. So where do you want this button to go to? So we can have it go to, you know, yourwebsite.com slash about page or wherever any good page is. So if we go to visit our store and we go to the about page, we can see that it's slash about. So all we need to do is just copy this and paste it into here. And there you go. And now we can, you know, change any of these things where it starts the gradient at, where it ends it at. And uh, this is so when you hover your mouse over, it'll turn into this color and you can change the name. You can change um, whatever you want here. And you can change the border outline and how much padding or radius, how much curve is over here. And you just play with all of these different things. And one of the coolest things is changing the opacity. So how, um, how see-through it is basically. So it can see through different things right here. And once you've done all that, you press save. And it gives you a little, if you go back to the max buttons, it gives you a little short code. Don't copy the whole thing, just copy this right here. Press copy and go back into your website and we can paste it wherever we want. This is uh, you know, the Beaver Builder um, uh, page builder that uh, I use in my theme. So we can just you know edit it and go to text and paste it in after everything and go back to visual and center it and press save and it's not going to show now but you press done publish changes and of course this works on regular pages and it works on everything and we see it see-through right there i mean that doesn't look great at all but if we go to my website let's go to tyler.com we can see that i use it on uh my website too and i've made it look much better than um how they have it regularly. So if we go to the dashboard, we can see a whole bunch of, uh, go to max buttons, we can see you know different buttons. This is the buy now button that I have on my unbranding page, buy now. And this one is see-through. And this is schedule a visit. This one's really cool because it just has the outline. So all I have to do is copy this and you know paste it wherever i want so we can go to the theme buttons this is um this is just my own theme buttons so it only works on the tesseract theme so if you wanted real quick buttons you could just copy this stuff and i'll show you that in a second but if we just wanted to uh you know play with this we go to text again and we scroll down and after this we Press save and then we can see that it says schedule a visit and we can't really see it until we press done and publish changes and this of course works on all uh, pages so you see that schedule a visit cool so um, also if we just go back to our back to this if you are using the tesseract theme it is free um, you can use any of these buttons too these are all pre-made buttons but if you want any color, whatever, you know, or any, you know, do anything that you want, then use the max buttons plugin. So if we could, we just uh, copy this, copy it, 
and we can you know go to the home page and we can put it on the home page if we wanted to so we go to page builder and paste it in just like oh make sure you go to text paste it in just like this and it shows up just like that see over there I'm not gonna do it right now but of course it will show up um, one more thing is if you want to uh, two buttons side by side that's pretty easy you just copy this in between the tags see it says P and P so you go to text and then you just copy this right here and you make another one pretend this was two different buttons <laughs> all right so just put a space or two or three in it and press save and now there is two different buttons I don't know why that all messed up but if we publish changes hopefully it'll come back okay there you go two different I mean they're the same buttons but they could be two different buttons and these buttons are also responsive so if you make it smaller then they will um, be responsive so that's how you add really cool buttons and I really like this uh, I like it even better than my own theme buttons just because you can have all of the different colors and it works everywhere I made it work in the header also let me show you how to do that just go to customize and go to header options uh, and obviously if your theme doesn't have you know uh, this options and you can't do it but uh, the tesseract theme does um, and you go to header right block content and then you just paste it in again right there all right so that is how you get really cool buttons on your website uh, please comment rate and subscribe thank you guys so much